Welcome to Indonesian language. Indonesian is a fantastic language to learn as the country opens up more. It's becoming easier to live there and more and more people are choosing to live in Indonesia. So Indonesian will get you by in thousands of islands across an archipelago as large as Europe. And it will get you by in Malaysia as well, being virtually the same language. So it's an extremely handy language and will in, it will open up doors in Indonesia and will give you an added depth to your time whilst in Indonesia. A, a very handy pursuit. So this lesson will begin with pronunciation, assuming that we are all learning Indonesian from scratch. So, the vowels. A is pronounced A. Ah. A. Ah. And an example of this, Apa. Apa, which means what? A, pa, apa. E. There are two sorts of E's. The first E is soft and it's virtually not pronounced. An example of this is selamat, pronounced selamat more commonly. Selamat, and that means safe, selamat. The next E. In dictionaries, you will see it with a stress over the top of the E, and that is pronounced hard as E, E. And a good example of this word, uh, letter is contained in a word that has the other E as well, and that is speda, speda. The first E is soft, the second E is hard and has a stress over the top of it, if you see it as an entry in a dictionary, which helps you with the pronunciation. It means bicycle, speda. I is pronounced the same as in English. I, ini, ini, which means this. O, O is pronounced the same as in English. O, mobile, mobile, mobile means car. U is pronounced U, U, and an example of this would be itu, itu, which means that. The consonants are very similar to English with a few exceptions. C is pronounced ch, ch, and an example of that would be cinta, which means love, cinta. R's, all R's are rolled. Don't worry if you can't roll your R's. There are some people in Indonesia as well who don't roll their R's and they are understood just as easily. But to roll your R is a common thing. The most common way of pronouncing an R is R, R, R. An example of this would be Bernan, Bernan, meaning to swim. Words in Indonesian sometimes start with NG. Mm. Mm. And an example of that would be Ngawur. Ngawur, which means random. Sixes and sevens to be random. Ngawur. A word that ends in the letter K is fairly soft, like the German ich for I. An example of that would be tida, for no, tida. 
It's almost not pronounced, but it does influence the last sound. Dida. H on the end of a word. And an example of that would be Pili. Pili. Pili means choose, to choose. Pili. We also have a T, which is fairly soft also at the end of the word. And an example of that would be Mpat. Mpat with a T at the end, and it means four, the number four. Uh, it also has a soft E for the first letter, which virtually isn't pronounced. Mpat. So P's, F's, and V's are indistinguishable for Indonesians. They can't differentiate between a P or an F or a V. There are virtually no words with V in them anyway, virtually. But P's and F's are interchangeable, and sometimes the sound falls between the two. An example of that would be hafal. Hafal means to memorize. To memorize something, hafal. It might be hafal. Hapal or hapal. You hear it anyway, and it doesn't matter which way you hear that. It is all very common. There is virtually no differentiation between a P and an F, which makes it very difficult for Indonesians when they try to speak English, where it's an important part of our language and our um, in our um, pronunciations. So hopefully that all helps. We'll get on to the next lesson. We'll get on to uh, words and more interesting things. But that's the essentials of the pronunciations. Very simple and straightforward. Uh, and we'll get into the meat of Indonesian in the next lesson. So good luck, good luck with it all. Salamat.